Are you getting ready to move to Jacksonville, North Carolina or relocating to the area? Then today's video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sunny and I'm a realtor in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Each week I post videos about what it's like to live and work in Jacksonville, as well as providing guidance on buying, selling, and investing in real estate in Jacksonville and the surrounding areas. If that sounds like something that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos that I post weekly. This week, we're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of living in Jacksonville, North Carolina. I'm gonna start with the five cons because I think the pros outweigh the cons. So con number one, guys, is going to be the humidity and the bugs. When I first moved here, the humidity is all I could talk about, and my husband kept telling me, you'll get acclimated, you'll get used to it. Well, I'm here to tell you, 16 years later, I still have not acclimated and I'm still not used to it. So that is one of my cons. The second part of that number one con is bugs. Guys, the mosquitoes here are the size of pterodactyls and they have this bug that they call the palmetto bug, but all it is is a cockroach with wings and it flies. Let me just tell you the first time that I saw a palmetto bug and I tried to step on it and it flew at me. Let's just say a lot of curse words and a lot of inaudible sentences came flying out of my mouth all at the same time because I'm not used to bugs, especially cockroach looking bugs flying at me. So that is my con number one, the humidity and the bugs. All right, guys, this next con is probably going to be a little controversial. So I just want to preface it by saying that my husband is a honorably discharged disabled veteran, and I have nothing but love, honor, and respect for everyone who serves for our military. So thank you. All right, guys, con number two is going to be the increased traffic and longer wait times at your restaurants for military payday weekends. It's nothing that's not gonna be manageable. You just would want to make sure that you plan accordingly. Your major retailers for grocery and regular shopping is gonna be a little bit longer. And your wait times at most of your popular restaurants is gonna be a bit, little bit longer as well. So make sure that you either use call ahead seating or go a little bit later in the afternoon or earlier in the evening to avoid any of the major rushes. So again, nothing unmanageable, just be prepared to have a little bit of an extra time. Maybe spend some extra time with your family while you're waiting. All right guys, con number three, a lack of seasons. I'm a Colorado girl. I'm used to spring, summer, fall, winter not in North Carolina. You have summer and then you have a cooler summer. So your summer, remember con number one, the humidity? Yeah, it's pretty high and you can cut it with a knife. The heat is pretty good too. Then your cooler summer, which most people know as a winter in other parts of the country, is basically a temperature between 50 and 80 degrees, which it can get as cold as 30 degrees at night and it feels freezing. <laughs> then you can have another couple days that are in the 80s and back down to the 30s or 40s. So a lack of seasons from a Colorado girl is going to be con number three. All right guys, con number four is going to be a lack of high paying jobs in the area. Unless you're in the medical, banking, or government sector, there's not a whole lot of high paying jobs in the area. However, that doesn't mean that if you are an entrepreneur or in sales of some type or own your own business that you can't make money. 
but the actual presence out of a lot of high paying jobs is just not something that's in this area. All right, guys, con number five, hurricanes. We live in North Carolina, so we have hurricane season. So essentially half of our year is hurricane season. When you're looking to purchase a house, you wanna make sure that your insurance policy covers wind and hail protection. And in some cases, your mortgage will also require you to carry flood insurance if you are in a flood zone. Now you can check with FEMA.org and see what the local flood zones are when you're looking to purchase a house, just so that you can kind of factor in the additional costs that will be associated with your insurance policies. So con number five is going to be hurricanes. All right, guys, pro number one for living in Jacksonville, North Carolina is going to be the beach. We have several beaches that are within a short driving distance. We have Onslow Beach, Topsail Beach, Atlantic Beach, and Emerald Isle. And we're a short drive from Myrtle Beach. So if you love the beach, then definitely that is our number one pro of living in Jacksonville. All right, guys. Pro number two of living in Jacksonville is going to be a short winter. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a Colorado girl. I love the cold, I love the snow. However, after living here for so long, I do see the benefits of having the cold and not having the snow. So if you live in another state that has a lot of snowy winters and is cold most of the time, you definitely want to consider Jacksonville. All right, guys, pro number three of living in Jacksonville is we are a smaller city, but we still have a lot of amenities and we have a lot of landmarks. We have the Beirut Memorial, we have the Museum of the Marines, and we have different locations close to us like Duplin Winery and Mike's Farm. So we have a lot to do in our area, but we still have the small town feel. So pro number three is a small city with a lot of amenities. All right, guys, number four is going to be the people. The people in the South are so nice. They are willing to show you that Southern hospitality. If you're having a bad day, somebody you run into is going to say, hey, how you doing today? Or just offer a kind word to you. Being part of the military, you realize that there's such a melting pot of so many different people and cultures in this town that when you're out, you come to realize it and you actually come to appreciate the diversity. So number four is going to be the people. All right, guys, number four, five in our pros list is going to be the boating and fishing and outdoor activities that you have access to in the Jacksonville area. You have so many options to go boating and fishing from the streams, the lakes, the intercoastal waterway, the ocean. There's just so many different opportunities and outdoor activities that you can take advantage of that are related to the water kayaking, wakeboarding, parasailing. There's just so much that you can do in this area. So my number five is going to be the boating and fishing in the area. All right, guys, so that was my pros and cons of living in Jacksonville, North Carolina. If you can think of any other pros or cons that I may have missed, Make sure you comment below, and if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos in the future.